Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. We did have a very special program today from our usual, and we will be featuring our new. Uh, fe- uh, our new feature, which is the insider buying and selling, we have officially launched it today. Right, actually, it's supposed to be nine thirty. We sort of got the time mix up, so we do apologize for this. But I do hope that those of you who have joined us today will be aware of this new feature that we are doing. I know we are starting a bit early, ten fifteen in here, so we are sort of in between. But I have a lot to cover for this morning in here, and for those of you who have just joined us, uh, welcome, welcome again. And I think uh, what we are sharing with you will definitely put you in a very good position, at least for year 2023 in here. Now, if uh, we do appreciate if you could share this uh, video in your timeline, that uh, definitely, definitely you will be uh, more than uh, ever to able to enjoy some of the benefits, especially the, if you are already our existing member. And that's what we are talking about this morning in here. So let's get started. I know we are starting a bit early. So those of you who sort of just join us in here, and we are uh, getting ahead. But if you want uh, any questions or uh, any uh, comments that you want me to do so, I, uh, please feel free to put it in there. We don't have too many people in here this morning uh, as people are still used to the Chinese New Year, maybe have not gone back to work, but definitely the market has already open this morning as we, we speak off right now in here. And uh, thank you. And do share this video in your timeline as people are starting to come in in here. And uh, we apologize for this morning for the so-called uh, timetable uh, mix up that we had because usually we do this at 10.15 in here and uh, the timeline was supposed to be 9.30. But I do hope that uh, you all get some sort of uh, 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 market update this morning in here. And let's get on to uh, what we have for this morning, okay? So this morning, definitely right now, we are talking about this new feature, the official launch, actually 9.30, we launch it, but we are having our talk here at 10.15. So it is the insider buy and sell, where our goal is actually to monitor people like Tan Sri Vincent Tan, who has been always been a big player in this market to know what kind of things are they doing. So we're going to be going down to those details as such that the new buying and selling, I believe, is one of the first, uh, at least in this uh, region in here. I used to use this uh, previously in the institutional platform, uh, like uh, the the higher end, then you're able to get some of these. But right now, for our retailer version, that's people like you and me are able to access this. And I think that will be a game changer for, for many of you who are you know in this uh, sense of things. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, where we are and uh, see that uh, the new VSA, 360 has this version in here. All right, let's get started. And of course, today's agenda will be focusing on the VSA insider buying and selling, especially if you have not subscribed to our VSA 360, you're missing one of the best uh, feature that we have. And again, this is one of the features we continue to release more of them coming to modernize our tools to equip our users, especially those of you who've been supporting us over the years, to be well equipped. And right now, we will be talking about the insider buying and selling. So we're going to through through some of these details. What are the buying and the selling? How to use this feature and how to combine in your own trading? And then, and when to use it and when, what kind of stocks you want to avoid by using the insider trade. You'll be very surprised. Some of this insider buying and selling does tell you a lot about what's happening to the stock itself in regard what's happening into the market. I think that's what's important for me in here. And for those of you who have followed me uh, the talk on the 11th of January, remember some of the stocks I've talked about in here, right? Uh, watch out for those three stocks. Uh, and right now they are doing pretty well. Do you know which one I'm talking about? If not, check out those stocks that we talk about on the 11th of January in here, right? Especially right now, VSA continue to get better and better. And of course, it is a value for your money, unlike many of our competitors out there in here. So officially launching today. So yeah, actually many, many of our members are able to use it. Uh, yesterday onwards, we have informed some of the members in here. But right now, we are looking into who's buying, 
and who's selling and how to use the Green Pentagon to profit from this information, which is surprisingly publicly available because some of the member did ask this information where they get from it's actually from the uh, busa malaysia uh, announcement where they release of the buying side so we're going to be going through all those details yeah but don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to watch this video again now first of all let's talk about the insider buying and selling some definition now insider buying and selling is whenever someone who is considered to be insider of a public listed company in our context in here a manager management, executive, a, ben uh, uh, a manager, a beneficiary who owns more than a significant amount, depending country to country in here. But the uh, amount uh, uh, stipulated in the US or generally is about 10% of the company stock. So 10% is a fair bit amount or employees with a knowledge of important company activity. So normally company activity, they need to make some sort of declaration in here, right? So if, if the CEO usually, you no, know, we want to buy and want to sell, he has to make a public disclosure or right, keep that in mind right so this is why these are definitions is important that you understand that so the buying and selling right usually is deemed to be very positive especially buying right the ceo generally view that the company has entered a bullish trend and how do we know that because these are the insider they know when it's a quarterly earnings well they know their customers they are like on the ground like fund managers like us or trader like us we usually try to measure the temperature of the market in here but usually this ceo like you see in this picture in here they would probably known you know whether the sales or not and if they feel that the market is bullish in that sense then they may want to take more position and right now and we have seen a couple of examples of this before already in here so this is why this definitely will put you in a very good spot so that, like they say follow the insider follow the smart money and right now vsa is in that very very sweet position to allow you to do insider buying uh, and selling follow them as they happen in here all right so understanding that this is the trend in here of course many of you heard this gentleman before anybody know who is this person uh, that you see on my left here right on my left Who's this gentleman, right? Like, this guy looks like Tou San, right? The god of gambler, right? With his bow tie. But he's no other than So Chin Wen, right? So Chin Wen was very famous in the, uh, I think in the 80s, uh, when I first entered into the stock market, there was a guy, you know, we always talk about, you know, at that time there's no internet like this. He used to own Omega Securities in Shah Alam, right? But that was defunct. And then he left and went over Singapore, I think 2013 to play the uh, penny stocks. All right. You all know about that. You can just Google it. Uh, the penny stock crash. Uh, you can Wikipedia that also, right? He's been famous. And now he's in prison. I think the court case just ended up in January for 20 years or more than that until like uh, maybe 60 years. I can't remember, right? So because of that, uh, 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 insider trading or stock manipulation has gotten a very, very bad name, right? So people say, hey, this one insider information, ah, right? Buying and selling. But we need to sort of draw the line. What is insider trading, stock market manipulation through our legal, we are legal, ah, legal ah, insider buying and selling because we base all our indicators on those, what we call publicly available information, which is released from the stock exchange to investor and trader so differentiate that there is a differentiation between insider buying and because people say hey this information you get are legit or not or can use or not we get all these kind of questions so we want to differentiate because using this information which is publicly available information but spread it over on the timeline of the chart where the stock movement right you're able to see some very very distinctive uh, patterns and these are the patterns you wanted to follow in here and we're going to talk more in the coming slides in here so remember uh, so chi wang you all know about so chi wang right if you all know about so chi wang just type inside there i'd like to hear what your comment about uh, this gentleman in here and some of you may be following the news of so chi wang as an insider uh, report in here now also let's talk about the insider buying and insider trading right there are two very very distinguished uh, uh, activity in here what is insider trading now insider trading is deemed at a company insider 
could be a executive, uh, a CEO, or the CEO wife lah, the one you heard the most one, right? Or CEO abang ade one, right? hey, this one uh, abang ade, I call you, right? So they make on a private company information which is not available, okay? So let's say for example, they get a new project, uh, uh, which not been released yet or about to sign, then then they make a trade. Right, so he did. They go, go either they can buy and sell. Right, then this considered to be uh, uh considered to be uh, illegal. Okay, so these are insider information. All right, so when they buy and sell, right, they still need to declare. Right, they still need to disclose it, and that disclose will be on this private information. So that's why when you are buying insider, uh, uh especially if you are insider, when you buy and sell, it's important that they must disclose. Now, insider buying and selling is insider purchase based on public information using proper procedure. Like they have to make the announcement first, and then they buy. Because when people come in, uh, let's say they do a certain project, they buy first, even though they disclose a uh, buy ahead, it's still considered insider trading. Right, so they have to be on public information. But in Malaysia, that's really a fine line to draw. You know how to eat. So far from the uh, news uh, collection that I have, very few people are you know being pressed into it. But a recent case that I came across from the Securities Commission, which is going well, uh, back to next gram, a group of C uh, uh, in, uh, insider trading that time, 2013. The Securities Commission are going after this group of people. No names I'm going to talk about in here, but they are suing them for 120 million for that one. So it's going to be a very long, interesting case that we can follow. So far, not really anyone. The 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 ikan bilis one, yes, they all go to inside. They all go to jail. The remisers, the brokers, you've seen a lot of them insider trading, right? But the big cat one, uh, the big tiger, the only one so chewing only kena was Singapore because Singapore and the uh the Mo MAS Monetary uh, Authority of Singapore are very very strict and they want to use that example for them and then so that's why he's jailed either twenty or sixty years in here. So this is quite important. But remember the information that we use here are legitimate, are legal. So it's important to base and we use publicly information. But sometimes we call it the MOSAC theory. We can sort of deduce using VSA, right? That's where volume spread analysis which was created by Tom Williams because he uh, he actually worked with an insider. So the jobs right now is to study all this accumulation, accumulation. We all know, right? We've been talking on this same channel for the last three and four years. But right now we have the official who and when they buy. Supper, supper, a family member of the public listed company, you know, they think this is a good stock, they will buy. And we want to see those kind of what we call buying behavior. The buying behavior is important in here, right? So keep that in mind. Now, uh, we have to be very familiar with the disclosure requirement, uh, Company Act 2016, because this is where it's stated in here, right, uh, that obligation on report threshold crossing. So any shareholder owning 5%, especially in Malaysian context, uh, 5%, uh, the US one and some other country is about 10%, right? Share, uh, Section 137 of the Company Act impose an obligation on individual and corporation who has a 5% of more voting shares in a Malaysia incorporated public listed company, whether listed and unlisted, to disclose its interest to the public company and to CCM. Uh, CCM is the company registration in here or SSM and then they will make it known and this will be collected by BUSA which is released on their BUSA website and this is how we get those information from right so this is what we call follow the insider smart money lah. strategy in here could be CEO directors business owner partners and also management in here now there is also a clause to this which I did not put in there failure to disclose of it right which is uh, uh, will give them uh there is a fine up to one million dollar they have seven days seven days from the day they purchased to disclose of it i i do believe sometimes uh in us was about 30 days so you know that us a lot of people like to follow uh uh kathy wood right kathy wood they like to follow warren buffett what warren buffett buy right and also michael burry these are some of the big uh investment guru people like to follow and in many ways we are trying to do a very similar follow the insider too so the ceo directors business owner company partners they usually do this in here so because in malaysia maybe they don't want to pay the fine of one million dollar but to be frank with you i've never heard anyone ever got fined up to one million huh? 
But you see the cases, I think this is also the uh, the broker houses or the person who buys those shares for them, right, will probably disclose of this owner. And usually these are what we call friendly insider uh, because they disclose, they follow the uh, Section 137 of the Company Act 2016, which is having more than 5% because they don't want to kena fine. So this is quite important because we want to follow the law here, uh, the regulation and the law. So we want to make sure that what we do today especially we are small time investor and trader like you and me uh, uh, we follow the rules and don't get into kind of problem in here all right so the insider trade now if you look at the u.s has been always a, a strategy especially in the u.s market in here you get multiple insider buying and multiple selling update they get updated every day so there's a lot of information you can see here like the filing date here all right hopefully you can see here this is when they filed january 26 what they buy how much the unit the price and, and the quantity the trade dates are when they buy trades date the insider 2 insider 21 uh, this one i'm not too sure what does this mean own how much and how much they increase in here so they can see here the cfo increases his shares in here but these are what what is the issue do you see here what are the disadvantage using this information in respective to vsa can someone tell me the audience there all right just want to check you guys are paying attention or not what is the issue what is the disadvantage knowing this information i know it's a great information in here but respective to what we study as a VSA or Wyckoff trader volume spread analysis in here. Anybody, okay? Uh, pencil those in there. I just want to get some involvement. What does those of you, especially uh, the public, of course, some of our members who've been with us for some time, they already know this answer. But the public one, what what is the disability knowing this in respective to VSA? Right? The truth of it, okay? I'm going to give you the answer, all right? The truth behind it is that many of these are what we call one-time information. If you know one-time only, information, very little can be fatal. So we need a bigger picture because this is only one time. And we all know in the perspective of volume spread analysis, VSA, right? It's through the accumulation stage, stage one. Many of you talk about in the audience, right? Stage one, so they have to buy bit by bit by bit by bit. And this is what we are looking for. So later on, when we go down to some Malaysian stock, we're going to show you some of these companies are buying, especially the insider buying, are buying bit by bit by bit. They just don't go buy one day. So if you just buy purely on one day, it could be a distribution. So you also need to look at the technical stages of the chart, whether it's in stage two or stage one, then you do the kind of buy. Now, if you remember back on the 11th of January, right, some of the stocks that we talk about, right, we have seen evidence of insider buying in here. And guess what? Eventually, those stocks move very well. Now, if you remember those stocks, not you remember pencil those in there because we will be looking into them too. All right. So, Let's look at the Trade VSA Insider and uh, Buying and Selling feature. This is the new feature that we are releasing uh, this January just after Chinese New Year. So we we'll make sure because we do believe year 2023 is going to be a year of boom. And I'm sure a lot of insiders are buying and selling. And that's what our job as trader is to follow them. Now, if you don't have this information, think of how much disadvantage you have. You're just buying on someone telling you an uh, analyst or, or probably a uh, 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 influencer a social influencer we all know a lot of social influencer especially in the context of us has been sued because they misled a lot of those uh, beginner to buy and sell based on them but we have to be smarter right you know as we go for we want to only follow legitimate buying and selling and that's what the whole purpose of the vsa 360 so just imagine how if you have this information how it will benefit you if what i'm saying that is true give me a thumbs up as that our job from the vsa uh, trade vsa company is to ensure our member has the advantages has the edge compared to everybody else in the public who blind blind buta buta one they then they buy and sell in here so we're going to talk about how to use this in here right and then we're going to uh had uh, also the insider buying also had the uh, uh buy call sell call and hold call by licensed investment analysts all right which is a lot of time a lot of the public especially those beginner when they come in all oh, this investment analysts say buy ah huh? and then they buy immediately but we also need to look back those buy sequences how well they fare because right now today as you say before there are many investment houses out there uh, uh you know it could be five of seven now in this example of just in nari you could see here right b 
call B call C call C call C call means call to buy call to buy uh, CH is call to hold so from here also uh, maybe you happen to come across one report from uh, Kenangan asked to you to buy so only one only but you but if you look at it right the VSA we do collect some of this information and in this uh, day itself there were five releases three call to buy two call to sell so if you have this information you also uh, scratch your head right so which one to follow uh? it's just like when you listen to social influencer lah, or you listen to this guru or that guru in uh, live Facebook one asks you to buy one asks you to sell so very confusing isn't it especially if you are beginner you don't know how to use this information so a lot of time you have to follow enough of this Sifu or this uh, licensed investment advisor then only you buy right that take time but more importantly V as the student of VSA uh, we want to use this information and see what is the after effect of this buy and sell call so right now you could see from here for just in this example the information is very good there were a lot of buying when the market uh with a lot of when the market dropped here right that was where the broadcom right this was i still remember that day a lot of people panicked the market dropped five percent in here they say uh broadcom uh uh apparently uh uh the uh rf the the wi-fi chip okay uh may be abandoned in 2024 because apple okay which is uh one of the main customer of broadcom uh the one they because apple wanted to redesign their their white the uh, wi-fi chip so they're not gonna order more and broadcom is tied to uh inari but we all know broadcom uh, only buy rfi chip and because the market reacted in here so there were a lot of buying and there were a lot of selling but you notice just like at the base here there were a lot of buying and then suddenly when that day after the market drop right after the market drop they were endless also covering inari so the story behind this look inari is a very institutional stock right uh, epa has it uh, uh kwap has it most of people have it i have it too in here so they came out and say hey after they analyze all this remember they are licensed uh investment license so you can do and buy and hold call so they came out with three company uh investment house came out with three buy call and two uh a call to hold so this is information is good because it's very easy you can have for what we call a helicopter effect as as a as an investor and trader we want to have a helicopter effect so we can see from maybe 20,000 uh, 20, uh, feet view so we know what's going on and that's really been the purpose of VSA to really have this view hey the bar, uh, analysts are calling to buy but stock not going up stock somehow go down so we're going to be looking at this then next is what we call differentiate between friendly insider and non-friendly insider what does it mean Martin uh? insider got friendly one man <laughs> this is a term that i introduce uh, uh, for our members those who are using in here because why when insider that is friendly they follow the disclosure requirement 2016 which i talked about earlier else they cannot find one million dollar uh, for uh, for a uh, non-reporting entity if they buy a lot right let's say they do five purchases they did not report and if they are caught by authority then they cannot find five million uh, but the problem authority really uh regularly uh, don't really enforce it so far i never heard anybody pay a fine or, or they maybe never reported in here all right so these are the friendly insider a friendly insider actually is uh winston nunn you know you could see that he buys a lot of the and also we have to see in respective to the chart that's why a lot of the earlier members who were discussion in our telegram group in here i said hey this is a wonderful tool where i can use it to time on market stages where it's on a good support or on a nice moving average in here i could see low volume accumulation i can also see insider buying by director a director b or institutional a institutional b and that's the, the kind of information you really wanted then on what we call the non-friendly insider all right the non-friendly insider are those who hide one whenever they buy and sell you can never see but the stock choo, 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 fly so those are things they want to hide from you right they can do it uh, through what we call nominees account or they could break break it very very low even less than five percent and that's how so chi wing on his insider trading are trying to do so usually when i see market goes up when the insider are hiding then i'll be a bit more careful about this so, or i choose not to trade because maybe my odds not so good then i purely rely on vsa on on my technical setup to trade those right we will look at some example of that one 
So the whole point, this has led on to a new way of trading, which I'm sharing it with all my members uh, that are subscribed to our VSA 360. And I highly recommend you to try it too. If you're not, you can try out our 10 day free trial and you get a chance to use also this insider buying and selling feature, which come with the code and the live data in here. So this is a really a new way of looking into the chart. Uh, and I find it, it's very convenient uh, for those of you, especially if you are fundamental, you also want to see the inside are buying and selling, especially when we talk about the Roby FA stock, which pays maybe three, four percent. And if you're an insider are buying, then you have you sleep better as well, at least, huh? <laughs> right and and also last finally is when to avoid this kind of penny stock with insider uh, buying and selling, especially penny stocks. You see, they can disguise huh? as they go higher, they will sell. They will sell, but they sell smaller amount. All right. Oh no, sorry. As they go higher, they will buy. They will buy smaller amount. So sometimes it's good enough. We look back to the last twelve months, the pattern. Uh, how much does he buy normally? And then when he sell, remember we always say uh, in the smart money, they when they buy, uh, they they buy they buy uh, they buy we they buy sorry, they buy they buy wholesale. They buy a lot at the base level. So as they go higher, they will start to sell. Okay, they will start to sell, but they will also buy. And sometimes some of these so-called non-friendly insider will disguise of it. If they sell little bit as they, oh sorry, when they buy as they go higher, then you have to be very careful. Why are they buying as the market moving to stage two? So those kind of share I don't want to buy because they want to mislead a lot of beginner because with one-time information. Remember, with a one-time information means you only look at the table. Oh, director A buy, CEO A buy. Owner A buying, oh, I buy, but guess what? You cannot because the chart is already at distribution share. So that's why important is to pair together with the chart, with the insider report, and then you get this full helicopter wheel, a full picture before you do. That's especially this year, year 2023. You already know uh, the market right now on the US side, the inflations are getting uh, 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 are getting less right now. That's where Feds may just pause interest in. and you can see last night some of the stocks already moving, especially the technology stocks inside here. So keep an eye on those technology stocks, especially those our member. Look at the insider buying every day, see whether they have done any in here. And I do know some of you only concentrate on those fundamental good shares uh, like uh, highly liquid, high large cap and this buying and selling information that you have will definitely benefit you a lot more in here. But we can also use it for trading too. Now let's look at the labeling too, right? Now of course all our trade VSA comes with tool tip. That's very important. So when you see in it, it's very easy, very aesthetic to the eye, not much information. All you gotta do is just mouse over it and you get those smaller breakdown in here. So you mouse over B here, it's an insider buying. You mouse over S here, it's an insider sell. So you can see on that one big day, uh, right? You can see B, 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 got people buy, oh. got two major shareholders sell. Oh. So you wanna see who sell? Again, using Inari as an example in here. And we all know next day, uh, all the analysts uh, all have to work very hard. Maybe they got a call uh, from the big selling uh, and the analysts got a call from the CEO of the company. Hey, can you do something to help me? Uh? My stock went down 5%. Uh, can you write something positive? Uh? I don't think uh, uh, my stock you cannot hit so bad. Uh, then the analyst kaja kaja next day already come out with it. Eh? You can see, right? Uh, or they can delay the date. Lah. You see sometimes maybe two or three days uh, late, they back date a bit uh, so it looks nice. Uh, like they're doing their work too. So you can really see uh, which analyst is very uh, uh, accurate, which analyst not accurate. So this all this is from the two tip information. Two tip means you just mouse over it Later on, I'm going to lock in and show it to you in here. Then you can see. So you can see there's a lot of buying. There's few people selling in here, but the market gradually goes up in here. So there are sort of uh, seven labels that you will see all different color coded in here. Uh, first of all, are uh, the call to buy C slash B call to buy by analyst. All you got to do is just mouse over it. You'll see which company uh, has a call in it. Then C slash S, the call to sell. This is also by the analyst. Generally, you'll find more call to buy than call to sell. La. Call to sell, considered not friendly, la, especially to the company. Why, especially the, if I'm a CEO or owner of the company, you tell me, ah, you're telling me to sell the company, uh, sell my stock, uh, how dare you, I support you, you support me. So that's why you'll see 80% uh, are call to buy by analyst. Call to sell very few, unless uh, come ching no more already with the company, right? When the come ching no more with the call to sell, uh, that's right. But the call to hold, pretty neutral. Uh, call to hold, 
is also considered as a sell la, usually yeah it's a call to sell right then we have the insider buying and selling of course many of you are going to be asking me martin what happening to Top Glove now and Hatta Lega and Supermax? Is the CEO buying and selling or not? Uh, Top Glove, huh? Okay, okay, later we look into it. Okay, we later look into it. All right, uh, buying and selling. Then there are some what we call transaction off market event called transfer. So they can transfer, especially some of the early startup. I do see a lot of transfer for Mr. DIY because now that they are already listed, some of those shares may be transferred out to other uh, parties. In and there's another category called others, which to me remain to be mystery. What does others mean? Uh? Is it buy or sell, or they just don't want to tell people, <laughs> right? But they still need to disclose this others. So, so far we don't have much information on this others in here. So we're trying to make uh, 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 a so-called uh, guesstimate, you know, after the others, what happening to the chart inside there? So OT, OT, uh, okay, OT is others, TR is transaction, it's on the gray in here. So, and then selling is just, just the S that you see here, buying. So these are the label that you will see inside there. And the chart usually is default to three months first. Okay, three months here. And let me just move aside here, okay? So let me just move over here. You can see this one, you can go back to 12 months, nine months, three months, six months, and one month. And if you wanna see more detail, let me just move my head here. Later on, you can see this scroll bar, you can just slide to the left. Just slide to the left, you can see how the buying and selling in here, okay? So this is how, it's a very simple chart. So once you get into the stock code of VSA 360, you're able to pick it up in here. So remember, we first talk about this huh? on the 11th of January when I first debuted it. I sort of, you know, let the people know. Now it's already 27. So after two weeks, we tested it. I think it looks pretty good. And, and we release it now to our members in here. And if you're public, you want to try it for 10 day free trial. That's a number below. You can check it out in here. I think it's a very good tool, especially if you have some longer term stocks, you want to take a look at this. So you can see uh, JHM, uh, which we talk about on feature 2023. Looks who's buying and selling in here on the 11. You can see uh, Christmas period uh, at this support just below 75 cents in here. And you don't really need to uh, invest. You can trade this, you know, if, if you can see that's accumulation. And if it hits up, hit your target price, say 10, 15% or even 8%, you, you can sort of link. But you can look from here. There wasn't much of a selling except over here. And then there were lots of buying in here. So this for me trigger, hey, something is cooking. There is a series of buying. Buy, 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 buy. And it's a level of stage one. Especially at this level, I know some people say, wow, this one, uh, if insider buying, uh, can silang or not? <laughs> Don't silang, okay? All right. So this was JHM, okay? JHM eventually broke out and there was a green pentagon. And that's what we, we, we do, what we are saying that now. Now it's even better. Pair together with green pentagon. Uh, pair together with green pentagon and with the insider buying and selling, you got a very perfect entry. Of course, some people say buy it first, uh, you can buy it cheaper in here. All right. Now, if you look into here, uh, you can mouse over it, as I said before. Once you mouse over it, it's a tool tip. Uh, now, I do I, I do recommend uh, members, those who are using it, use your laptop or your iPad because you need to use the mouse to get more information. You still can see it with your mobile phones, but it's going to be very small because there's a lot of information. We try to make it easier. So you can see uh, Dato Sri Tan Keng Singh. Okay, Dato Sri. So you know Dato usually owner lah. Uh, somewhat influential lah. I think I debut this in here and then you google it uh. again uh, we make it much easier once you get to the VSA 360 chart you can just click on the name of the person uh, being the major shareholder and it will take you to a google search and you can see uh, uh, this uh, uh, Dato Sri Tan King oh, it's a, really a king uh. King Seng here is the CEO so when the CEO is buying at 72 cents and this is why we talk about earlier term, uh, what we call the friendly insider. Uh, friendly insider, where the CEO buy, it actually tells you, right? Normally when CEO buy, why, why I want to tell people? Uh, just like I always say, uh, people who come out on TV and tell people, hey, you buy my share, buy my share, buy my share. Uh, you see uh, this fella is actually selling, okay? Uh, because we always say, uh, charts don't lie, people do. Now in this case, uh, the, it, it possible he have bought it, he has to do the disclosure, and that's why we call it a friendly insider, right? Non-friendly one, you will see later on. You cannot find them one. <laughs> they never disclose anything one. Okay, so friendly insider. So if you look back on uh, today, 27, uh, uh, 27 in here, uh, the market has gone up 
uh, let me just go back previously, was about 78 cent, uh, hit high about 90 cent. So if you use that, uh, let me get a calculator. Huh? Okay, bring out the calculator first. Okay, uh, we hit 90 cent. Now, of course, you can do a trading 90 cent divided by 78 cent. Okay, that is a 15% move already. Okay, a 15% move after he... Usually the case is because after when smart money, uh, like the insider buying, uh, they already accumulated all the share. Already. That is very easy for them to push one, no? Right, very easy to push, no? Then you can see once a market break out and people who read technical charts, right? Because once they've already buy, they don't sell, the pressure for it is actually push higher because they can move the bid and ask, right? This one move higher. And then once you have it here, and they probably sell like, in here, okay? It could also hold it in there, right? So this is one of the, the uh, interesting things you want to see in here. And remember that also on the 11th of January, I awarded BJ Corp, right? And how do I know that? Because I was right here, you could see, right? Uh, Vincent Nunn sold a lot. 34 million, 34.5 million, and then immediately the day uh, the market actually dropped. But since then, the market has picked back up again. So if you have those information, okay, uh, if you don't have those information in here, uh, like buying and selling, then you have to rely purely on charts. But sometimes if I want to do uh, a trade that I don't want to lose money one, at least I can use the buying and selling to my disadvantage. Of course, everyone will have a different flair. I will share you some of my technique in here that you could use it too, using this information to your benefit in here on the 11th. Now, this was another one that I also discussed on the 11th of January, right? So I told out, watch out for this insider buying for 7-Eleven, right? Remember early on when the beginning of this, I've talked about the 7-Eleven in here. You can see buying, 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 right? And you can see here, the flood didn't buy. After it break out, the flood start to buy, you know, again, these are friendly insider. Lah. Friendly insider will tell you these are the movement. This is what I talk about, the pattern of insider buying and selling. This insider buying and selling, they got pattern one, no? It's just like people, uh, how they brush their teeth. How do you brush your teeth every morning? All right, got pattern one, right? You brush this way, then you go up and down, right? Some people... <laughs> so same thing, so when they buy and sell, this one is, why we would do this is because VSA is volume spread. Right? Like the creator, Tom Williams, he always talk about how uh, uh, smart money has a kind of pattern and all we got to do is follow this pattern of buying and selling together with volume. So right now, this kind of uh, disclosure uh, requirement, disclosure requirement, Company Act 2016, Section 137, they cannot hide, right? Assuming they are they are friendly, la, friendly insider, because when they buy and sell, they have to disclose. So you take advantage of this. Does this make sense or not? Right? If I make sense, give me a thumbs up because I've been speaking for almost uh, a half an hour and I sort of get, make sure you guys really understand what we really talk about in here. And I really want you all to use this public, publicly available information. You can already access this already. Lah. Uh, no problem at all up so far, right? Yes. So we want to take a look at this night now. Okay, when we are ready, let's take a look at some of the stocks that we have. Okay, so once you get in, can you see the chart, right? Yes, once you get in, so you any stocks you want me to look at? Okay, you want to look at Volesto, sure, cool. All right, cool, I think you're also a member, right? If not mistaken. If you're not a member, you should be one. All right, cool. All right, if you're a member, just type in, uh, uh, member, cool, poor, gen. Okay, so first of all, let's look at, uh, just now we look at JHM. Okay, just type it in there. And uh, this morning we have a really lots of load. Yes, well done. Okay. We're waiting to, we're a lot. Today, okay. So once you can do JHM, you could see right here, right? You can see this is the current chart that you can see lots of buying for JHM. And uh, you can go down, you can just open up the chart wider here. Okay. And now uh, you can go back to 12 months. So you scroll back to 12 months. And this is what we oh, just go back to nine months. And of course, you can go to six months, three months. Because when you go to three months, you can actually scroll through here. You can see, right? And you can just mouse hover. Okay. Buy a whole call at 90 cent. This is from Kenangan. Okay. Whole call. There was some selling. Chia Chugi. Chia Chugi. 
okay and I, I don't know who's Chachugi so all I gotta do is go back to here and you can see Chachugi is one of the below number number six ah. so here you can just type on here so you can look at noble matters click on this one here it will take you to google search noble matters it's a best uh, investment company i think this one belongs to the family one ah. right some of the nobles profile data so all these are, are just uh, investment holding company you can see great eastern epf small cap fund and also the uh kw so the market has gone up uh, since then here this was the the chart that we're talking about so this is jhm you can move on so let's take a look the last buying was uh, 30k 20k small amount uh, 70k 50k 60k uh, 70k 100k 50k and uh, 330k so you can see uh, there's a pattern right what we call buy wholesale when you buy wholesale they buy a lot okay they buy a lot that 330k then 20 50k as as it go higher a bit here 20k and then buy 30k so the 30k uh, can already push up again because these remember this disclosure is seven days so usually by the time you find out or appear our chart uh, are seven days so they got the lead time of seven days okay lead time so what we're trying to say here if you see this accumulation chart hasn't broke out yet it will eventually and that's what when we talk about it right we saw the green pentagon which is also initiation to jalan right and then we see the insider buying then it's good to buy here so this is this is definitely one way to look at it okay uh we'll look at velesto uh, uh cool. never mind we'll look at velesto for you first okay velesto let's see velesto is friendly insider or not friendly insider okay you old name is unw Okay, well, let's talk by call. Let's switch on to a wider chart here. Okay, we can turn this off. So we switch on to a nine month. You can see here, uh, this one also not friendly. <laughs> Nothing at all. I can't find any institutional buying. No, no. all are just the uh, buy call only. Okay, here a lot of buy call here. Uh, 22 cents. This was in November. The latest one is 5th of January from Kanakan, 16 cents. So already Salalu Jalanadi. So this one is already exited, right? So a lot of buy call, buy call in here and the markets were. And this is also moving in tandem with the uh, so called energy sector. So this one you just trade pure on technicals in here. And remember, Velasto is also one of the uh, stocks we talk about on the uh, top volume alert especially those of you who have joined our 100 orientation you guys are testing out our top volume intraday alert and velesto is really one of the stocks I, which i got in uh, as part of the testing uh, to to trade this so we have a lot of great things coming out in here so those of you who sign up with us this is just a, a better year to start with for 2023 this uh, insider buying and selling is a new thing and then you got another intraday uh top volume coming up right and we want to really make your money uh, invested and work hard for you. Now we got Kevin here for MIEG, right? And uh, you got double NS Swift or so. Charlie Min, member, a member. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna look, be looking at that too, All right? Uh, okay, let's look at some of the, the in here, Charlie Min. Okay, now we look at Charlie Min now. Okay, Chari Min, Mokta bin Hashim, siapa ini ya? <laughs> okay, go to nine months. Yep, again, uh, no friendly at all. Nothing of a sort. See, this is what I call insider non-friendly. So, they, 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 I'm sure they will buy some, you know. You cannot not say buy any. Tada, satu pun tada. You know what I mean? Uh? So, when they don't have anything, these are non, so I have to trade based on pure uh, uh, technical charts, okay? This is okay. Let's look at MYEG, which is an institutional stock. Okay, MYEG rated four, very good. Uh, you can see, right? Uh, this is what we talk about. Got a lot of buying. EPF, uh, this is an EPF stock, uh, 1.6, uh, 1.8. So let's go back to uh, six months ago. Wow, oh, this one a lot. Okay, you can see a lot of buy call, a lot of sell here. So this one is quite well balanced because it's a very institutional stock, right? So right now there's a buy call by CIMB at one ringgit ten cent. That's on the twenty fourth of January. 
Okay, 24th of January, which is about three days ago. A buy call on that. But it seems to be, you know, a lot in a lot of institutional stock, Asia holding, that Asia holding Wong Tem Soon. Uh, this is the one of the directors uh, uh, the Wong Tem Soon in here. You can see any other big shareholder, you know, ITV, EPF. All right. So you can click on this, uh, Wong Tem Soon. You can see he's one of the uh, founder, uh, co-founder, right? MYEG services. So just to, and this is how he looks like. So if you really want to know more about them, at least it gives you some sort of knowing a bit about who you buy and the uh, the business owner profile of those company here. Okay, uh, we got Swift. Now Swift got uh, NS apparently a double NS. Let's see Swift's chart is good now. Fifty cent right now. Yep, it's moving up. Yeah, a lot of buy call. There's only one buy call. Ten k. Ten k is very little lah. Huh? 10k who is this mr lu uh, tada so it's really out from here we'll go switch to nine months here wow a lot of buy call buy call here summa buying one and no selling one a uh, buy call buy call okay let's look at uh, so this one looks good so this one is what we call a nice support level in here and let's take a look swift uh it's logistic lah Okay, logistics. So you need to have some sort of a news about logistics. Today, uh, the market was up. This was a nice change here. You got uh, Mr. Lu buying. Who is this? Mr. Lu. Oh, 4.5 million. Lu Huiket. Okay, Lu Huiket. Uh, this must be one of the big, big supporter here. Uh, uh, buy call. Buy call. And also take note. Uh, when you have uh, uh, analysts covering these stocks, uh, usually if they have a certain buy call at the support level, which is not bad, and you can actually take a look at them buy call at 90 cent. That's a lot. On the 12th of January, a buy call and he's buying in here. So this is a, what I call a pretty good uh, kind of stocks. Let's look at the fundamental 5 out of 8. Yep. So good fundamental, got pay dividend not. Right, dividend two percent, but ROE a bit low lah, huh? ROE a bit low, and you have a lot of buy call. You got nice smart money here, right? And uh, let's go to six months. So that's pretty good. That's that's how I see it. So Swift is a pretty decent uh, call for that one. Okay, we have seen MYEG already. So you, okay, uh, can you see a seven day lag? Does it mean that yeah? The in uh, Kevin asked, can you explain the seven day lag time? Does it mean insider only after seven? No, they buy earlier on. So by the time you know the 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 earliest you know after you buy is seven days, seven trading days, right? Not like he buy yesterday, you will know. They have you have seven days. That's the fastest you can get, right? So let's say the buy the guy buy uh, today on the twenty seventh, seven days. Uh, next next month when you find out lah. But usually if they already buy and it started to run, right? So that's why we we talk about uh, Kevin. If the market move up uh, uh, already like in stage two, right? And they buy some more, you have to be very careful. It, you got to look back to the left hand side of the chart. So once you get hold, you you have right, Kevin, our uh, VSA three hundred and sixty insider. Are you a member, right? I think you are a member, right? So if you look back to the chart, look back on the left hand side. Is he doing a lot of buying? Uh? So this is where you want to take a look and follow the pattern. So you can see. Who are the buyers? So you can mouse over it. Mr. Lu here, a uh, blue fin, BD code, LTD. And this is Mr. Lu, he's buying a lot. All right. So one other thing we also observe, if this guy buys a lot, make money, Mr. Lu here, all right? All right. Then you will know that, hey, it's good to follow him also. All right. Then next one is uh, CY Park. Okay, CY Park. So we're just going to go through quickly some of these talks. And if you have not uh, yet to be a member, uh, sign up. Oh, okay. We got the, uh, can I access it? Uh? Try it one more time. Okay. Internet got some problem here, but now it's okay. So you look at CY Park. Uh, ah, a lot of buying inside here. So you can see here. Okay. Let's go back to nine months. And this was uh, six months ago. Okay. Three months. Uh, let's go at one month. Uh, just before the market broke out at this support here, you can see here. Uh, uh, this is where we talk about a lot of buying. Chung, Chung 300k, Chung 300k. And then he this Dato sell, Dato Abdul Malik. Uh, oh, uh, this Amana. Amana, we don't worry about them. Uh, usually, uh, then you get a uh, lot more buying. Nizam buying, Jackal. Uh, Lokman. Uh, Faros, uh, Jackal, I think one of the family. Then you have this another buying. Chung, Chung bought another one. So right now you can see uh, this market. Uh, that, you're quite smart. Chung buying 500k, 200k, 
1.4 million. Well, no joke, man. The market went through it before the market break out some more here. And then he uh, he bought Natum. So the, a lot of guys are already loading here. All right, already loading in here. No doubt you have a red pentagon in here. Take some profit in here. But since then, the market has gone ballistic. So right now, if the market gone ballistic, do be careful. You will see a lot of time uh, when these stocks that they have, uh, right, they will buy. But when they sell, you don't see it. One, no. uh, for some reasons, uh, buy, they registered. So we try to use this as much information that we can get from Busa. All right, that's the best we could do. Okay, because these are, you know, information that we get. Use this. So right now, if you can see, when the market break out and start to run like that, we have to be very careful. Volume is definitely going to be a lot. You can see volume is about 36 million. Market cap is 74. But more important, when you see the kind of pattern, stage one, uh, just turn green pentagon, you have some buy accumulation here, which you see a lot here, right? And that's that's where you want to be, you know. You can see this, Mr. Chung is correct. So right now, here is a bit high. I'll be careful. I wouldn't take it. Uh, Swift will be a better one unless you get 2%. hasn't run yet, okay, having said that, right? But if you do spot some of these, we'll definitely update some of the members that you have here, right? Okay, we got Top Glove. Okay, now the more important thing is to have this regularly in your disposal, which means you can really check who is buying and who is selling. Oh, you can see here, call to sell, MWS, sell at 60 cent. Call to sell, MWS, this is 16th of January, and uh, yeah, they are, they, are, yeah, they are two, they are the same call to sell here, lah, huh? okay? So then they were buying, oh, 5 million. Another Lim Hui Sin, uh, Lim Hui Sin is actually is one of the directors. I think Lim Hui Sin, uh, Lim, uh, Lim Wee Chai, okay, 5 million, Lim Jing Fen, uh, Tong Siu I think the wife, lah. okay, then you just move further up here. Okay, let's open up. Okay, let's open up and see this. So if you open up, switch to a six month chart, you can see there's a lot of buy here, right? This was really good. And there's a lot of call sell here, right? So you see a lot of call sell, the 53 cents, 53, 53, 53 call hold. But the market actually went higher. So you can see uh, there isn't really much service. Uh. I don't know, eventually maybe the market may just you know, come back down, you know, that, that's the case is, right, it may come back down, and if you look back, there's still a lot of call to sell here, 60 cents, 60 cents, so maybe is this overreacting in here, but definitely have a buy call, but again, you can see here, Tan Ri Chai, he has bought a lot, he hasn't sold anything, yet. and on the premise that he has to report the buying and the selling, which is really good, all right, there is any, none of the same, he's still buying a lot more, you know, he buy to uh, 1.5 million, he's buying here at the low, 62 cents, right here, so you will definitely know 62 cent is as low as did he get. He, he buy some more here, right? So he buy higher, right? You can see here is uh, 5 million. Uh, the wife buy 5 million, 5 million, and then uh, limit chart by 5 million. But over here, you can see 1.8, 1.5. The regular usually buy about 1 over million. At 60 cent, 1.5, they also find very okay. Huh? Please keep in mind, uh, 1.3 million, uh, 60 cent, uh, it's about also half a million, fair bit amount in here. But he's been very supportive. Lah. He's been buying, 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 buying a lot of the shares in here, right? That which also make him be in one. Another. So right now I'm pretty neutral on, on this one because why you do not have this in sync of the call. Now another stock, which I find it very interesting, is also dialogue. So this is definitely makes your uh, investigation of insider buying and selling. Yeah, Mastron will look at it, okay, too. Yeah, uh, P-Trans, sure, I, Eileen. Okay, and uh, so let's look at dialogue. And what I like about dialogue, it seems to be dialogue is is uh, as you get lower, you can actually buy this stock. I kind of like dialogue too. You can see uh, a lot of buy call, right? Pop, 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 up to the roof. <laughs> a lot of roof buy call by HEL, M Invest, uh, MIBB, uh, Kenangan, Public Bank, Hong Leong Bank, and before that, CIMB, uh, Maybank, Public Bank. Uh, I'll go UOB also, Kaur, Banyak Bai Kaur, uh, on the 5th, 235, this one is how much? 342, 304, right, 338, sekarang berapa? Now it's 260, wow, so high, you know, right, and uh, $4.90, cent. wow, Maybank, where, this was 18th of January, uh, just before Chinese New Year, 18th of January, and you said a lot of buy call, so if you look at this, the uh, stocks, a lot of uh, institutional buying here, no selling, ah. Uh, so to me, I find that, and this one, 
pay 1% dividend. So dialogue, if you, I'm bullish on the sectors, this is pretty good to, to look at. All right, we look at uh, Mestron, okay? Okay, Mestron is a, is a new share, and I'm not sure whether it is cow or not. Uh, yeah, there was some. Okay, some selling here. Po Tio Ng. Lu Jin Seng. Uh, po Ting. Who is this guy? Uh? Let's check him out. Po Tio Ting. Oh, he's an MD. Okay, see, very quickly I can find out. Uh? Uh, po Tio Ng is an MD. So, MD sold some share here. That's uh, how many million? Uh? Well, that's a fair bit of million. Uh? 20, 25 million. Uh? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's make this bigger. You can see better. So if you can't see better, just swing it out a bit. Swing it to six months. You can put it in here. Up 25 million. 25 million. All right, Lu Chin Sing. So they know something about this company. Huh? Uh, look, but they, they hasn't been. They just sold it here. Any buying previously? Or they've been more, uh, there was some transfer here. 3 million shares. 5 million shares. All right, I think this is a newly listed stock, right? Yeah, uh, 3rd of April. So Mestron looks to be... Uh, so on this side, I think, since there's not much coverage in here, right, it doesn't tell me any story, right? So which means I just be a bit careful. Lah. So right now, Mestron got a lot of uptrust. On technical side here, I... Of course, the whole point of being a trader, you want to look for stocks that have the insider buying and selling, at least especially those of you who don't want to cut loss on. Uh, use this uh, insider buying. And they say, hey, the, the owner hasn't sell yet, like dialogue. So I'll, I'll still keep that. Right, especially in dialogue is an institutional stock, and that's why you have. Okay, next one is uh, P Trans. Okay, Para Transit. So you can see Misty Top Glove. Okay, P Trans. I can look. Oh, there's only one transfer. CBS Link. Okay, that's another one. Uh, let's switch to nine months. Wow, a lot of transfer. Uh. Something is going on here, man. I've never seen so much transfer before. Okay, let's open up the bigger chart. Okay, summa transfer when yeah. All right, so sometimes so I find it very interesting uh, the the what they are trying to do here. Uh, only buying uh buy to call M invest transfer. Right, CB link this one uh Lim Lim Soking uh, Lim Soking is who uh? Lim Soking okay let's uh Dato uh, Dato usually is owner one uh, uh para transfer yeah is the owner uh, oh, this one daughter I think yeah they own the Dato Lim Soking. 5%, Datin, Datin Sri, oh, Datin Sri is a wife, Datin Sri, Datin Sri is a wife, Cheong Kong Fit, I think it's the Datuk, la. okay, so, so you can see here, transfer, uh, Cheong Kong Fit is the Datuk, F-I-T-T, -T, Datin, it's transfer left to right, right to left, left to right, left to right, <laughs> okay, and then you're buying, uh, Datuk Cheong Pek, so, so there's a lot of insider buying for these stocks, and like it or not, uh, I like uh, uh, paratransit for the fundamentals, I suppose, right? Although the ROE is not so great, right? Uh, it's only one out of it. Dividend is two in here, right? And uh, so we have to look at the other things, which is the the fundamental, whether they are scared. And this is considered as one of the growth stocks, right? With a good growing revenue in here. And FAD though is also paid pretty good dividend so it's a fundamental stocks so you have this now the question is if i buy now is it high so that's something that you want to be uh seeing you see you can see that uh, the insider uh the last uh, dr ong chu beng uh, ong chu beng is who uh? okay ong chu beng is not in the top 10 not in the top six okay so it's one of the smaller scale but you can see dr ong chu beng chung uh what well, he's buying about like, 3 million 1.7 million right so he has a substantial amount. He's been buying a lot. Ong Chu Ming, Ong Chu Ming, Ong Chu Ming. Okay, of course, some of you who know this, maybe your uncle Chinese New Year, you're going to say, hey, Dato Ong, oh, you buy a lot of uh, para translate. Huh? Huh? Uh, how, what's happening? Huh? Another one, 775k. So he may know something, but you can see so from here, this is a different buyer, right? Chong Pek Sui, right? Chong Pek Sui. Right, so you can see there's definitely some patterns in in way they bought because this stock has moved from ninety cents to over in here. Right now you don't see a lot because there's no reporting, but there's only one transfer CBS link here. So there could be some possible uh, acquisition here, but I do think that this uh, chart will support it itself in here. Okay, now the transfer is the transfer share lah. 
off market transfer, right? Uh, they transfer Dato Sri Lim So King transfer four million share to somebody. Okay, so that's all we know, right? Four million shares in there because the information is very sketchy. That's the best we could do because these are disclosure requirement. They do not have to disclose more than it is. It's just say I I transfer, just like I buy. He doesn't tell you why I buy, right? I buy so and so company because I. They don't tell you the reason and because the disclosure requirement based on Company Act 2016 only disclose uh, this one in here. So that that's at least we have this information to our benefit here. All right. So uh, I think I've done a full list of this in here. Give it a try. Those of you who remember, right, uh, Elaine, you have this already. So let's talk about differentiating between the friendly and non-friendly too. Now, usually when insider buying, uh, when they are buying or when they are selling, right, uh, especially when they are buying the stock, means they are good fit. Lah. This, this is a good path. Lah. So when they are selling, bad fit. We can see also just now an example of revenue in that case, uh, market declining, right? Uh, you can see a lot of insider were selling and then eventually market fall. That would help uh, you avoid uh, this kind of thing. And usually when we see a lot of uh, uh, selling, uh, then we have to be very cautious, right? Usually selling, especially if it's an insider friendly, the, in, the insider is selling, then they be. But normally, if the insider per, insider need personal cash, uh, they they will sell, and then that's reflected neutral. Because some of the CEO use this like their piggy bank or their cash account. They sell and buy, sell and buy, because they have to maintain that ratio uh, to become the uh, uh, substantial holding in the company. So, how do you combine them? So the combination of VSA trading strategy, how to use it is that good VSA setup, and that's always been part and parcel of our uh, our package and our orientation in here. You can sign up for our package using good reward risk with buy call and sell call, how to pick that up in here, and avoid some of the stocks that we were talking about earlier on in here, and observe, continue to observe those buying and selling pattern over the 12 months period that you have. Uh, avoid stock, they have uh, numerous insider selling in here. So with that in mind, and going through our lot of upcoming uh, Zoom training that we plan using the insider and buying, that will perhaps help you uh, to move you up to another level, uh, especially those of you who want more. And of course, even on the uh, rebalancing of the portfolio that we have for defensive stocks for 2023, you can also look at RC Capital, Sitcon, Padini, Sunway Con, and, and Kim Long, how these stocks that pay uh, rated five. So what I'm trying to say here is combined with insider buying and selling with the high Roby rating that pay dividend, you got a very, very strong uh, 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 prognosis uh, going to 2023 that will uh, give build a very nice foundation in here, right? And keep it, and that's a way to, su to survive. It should we have a market crash in here? Now, in summary, uh, thank you for for coming today. Really enjoy your presence. We have a good good in here. The 2023 is just more features they are rele uh, releasing in here. We continue to be, to be uh, better ourselves, improve all our analytics, our trade VSA in here. And as long as the BUSA continue to provide this kind of information, hopefully we are still able to get it, right? Uh, looking for insider, having more than 5% share of the whole thing, we are interested. Uh, next coming up, we are hoping to release in second quarter, is a top volume intraday, especially those of you who want to trade those top 30 volume for momentum trading, a fast moving one, try to capture three or 4% daily movement. That's the one we, are, we have. But for those majority of you who sit back, want to relax using the insider trading, using uh, buying and selling, using the Roby FA stock, using the FA, then you want to use those uh, uh, portfolio, our masterclass portfolio in here. And that's the way to survive in here. So my last word is that the sign of market rebounding definitely happening in this quarter. Look at the technical chart, look at the weekly and the CEO whether a comment. And right now we do have this insider buying will definitely help you. Remember social media influencer, buy and sell, you still need to know how well they are. And we have seen before, right at some of the charts, uh, license investment and list. some of these are very good ones. They can also get it wrong too. They can get it right, when they write, they clap. When they get it wrong, they get scolding and there's always been there. But very important, as I said before, look at the economic indicator, the CPI figures coming down. I'll talk more about that on the uh, later next week, uh, next Wednesday, perhaps more on that one. So uh, this one, I'll just keep it. What's ahead? Uh, the resistance right now is at 1500. Uh, longer term, we are heading for 1612. The 
railway tracks still still moving up. Uh, foreign funds are slowly coming in, but they were net sellers for the last three days in here. The trend has been up because Dow Jones is going up in here. The market look likely to look higher. And if you see more insider buying and selling, I think that's going to be really good. And these are the seven uh, framework that we like to share with you to teach you so how you can build a uh, well portfolio for 2023 seven steps including the skills assessment the right tools the analytics and also the virtual trading where you want to be using the volume alert huh? the latest volume alert as well as our pentagon uh, alert that we've been getting here all right uh, our focus has always been our student in here start trading with uh with paper trading before using real money and a coach so that has been the uh the launch of our insider buying and selling. Thank you for coming in here. And last but not least, ahead of 2023, we feel that uh, we have reached the market bottom. June 2022, that was the lowest we had. A lot of things has been priced in here. We had a crossroad. Of course, either you believe the market boom or continuing sideways in here, but everything is still pointing that the market is moving up in here. Get ahead with the insider buying and selling. First available on Trade VSA 360 in here. And I think you do think education is most important. Just like many of you who have here, continue to educate yourself. Some of the things may help you go ahead and do so. Buy low and sell high. All right, and don't forget to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. And if you wanted to sign up, for our trade VSA package, you can definitely do so. That's a number in there. You can also try out our free trial and this will give you the first mover advantages with the buy and sell. And of course, don't forget to join our Telegram group and be aware of all our educational material in here. That's all I have. Thank you for your time and thank you. And I'll see you next coming Monday for our breakfast show on Smart Ruby. Thank you.